Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, whenever you are. Thank you for watching my videos. I'm in the pipe, five by five, staying live here in the United States, in New York, in the TWA Hotel at JFK right now. So if you happen to watch this video and you want to meet up with me, uh, and it happens to be in time, the time the same post, well, I'll be at the bar at 10... Not, Actually, no, I'm going to be at 10, not 9, 10 o'clock today at the bar downstairs. So come on down and, uh, you know, join me at the bar here in the TWA Hotel. Um, also, we could do lunch tomorrow at noon. Uh, let's, just, let's just make it uh, 1 o'clock. Let's do make it 1 o'clock in the TWA Hotel because, you know, I still have to check out stuff like that. So. Better if we do it at 1. So 1 o'clock tomorrow, also lunch. If you guys want to, somebody wants to meet up with me um, and they've seen this video. All right. Uh, well, wow. Bitcoin, I mean, it, it's, it's fully managed by the Fed. And, you know, capitulation is not here. People have not been really hammered. And yes, can Bitcoin take off and go higher from here? It should do that. Right? It deserves to do that, but if the powers that be understand Bitcoin like I do, they have to do what they have to, and that is to keep the price down because it's the only marketing tool for, for Bitcoin. They, Bitcoin does not have commercials on regular television. There is no Bitcoin corporation. There is no uh, individual company that's out there that's making sure the Bitcoin is getting adopted over time. No. The only marketing that Bitcoin does is when it price rise. When price rises, well, then uh, people start to study, well, what's going on over there? Right? Because everybody is, is affected by price in dollars. They don't understand that dollars is a scam. They don't understand that. They only don't understand that if I go to the store, I can buy stuff. That's all they understand about the dollar. But they will learn. Once they come to see Bitcoin, they find out that, hey, you're being defrauded. In fact, every single time the Federal Reserve comes out and decides what's going on, and everybody just, like, this market whole is waiting for whatever the Fed says. Everybody knows, more people know who the Fed chairman is than they know who the president is. That's how bad it is. And, and they, whatever they say affects the market. That's just wrong. Why is it wrong? Well, can you imagine if a store, right, were to set the price to, for potato chips, which was $5 one day, and to, to $0.05 cents the next day? Obviously, they'd run out of potato chips. Well, with, with money, right, since they print as much as they want, if they make the money too cheap, right, then uh, people will start to print more and more money. And then, you know, prices will get affected. Pretty simple. <laughs> and it's, that's a big fraud. Because why is it a fraud on you? Because, well, now your, the money you earn at your job is worth less. The money you save is worth less. And that is terrible. That's why we're here with Bitcoin. That's why we talk about Bitcoin every single day. And we support Bitcoin because, you know, it is going to be the money. And that's why you have to, you know, dollar cost average, right? Save, trade it if you like. But basically, you need to hold on to Bitcoin. And if you want to trade, make sure you head over to bybit.davinciej15.com and earn a small uh, bonus, right? Of like 4000 some odd dollars, right? Uh, links are in the description below. Make sure you check that out. All right, so let's talk about what the trade is by switching over the trade. Okay, so I'm not going to go into too much detail because there's a little bit of latency because this is this computer is actually back in Dubai. So moving the things around is going to be a little slow. But as you can see, we're sloping down here, right, with Bitcoin going down, down, down. But... Um, this is not probably the the uh, breakdown here. It's, there's a high probability this is not the breakdown. And why is that? Because there's so much support at this level here, just below 
um, the, the 18,800 level, that Bitcoin uh, will most likely bounce one more time and head straight and head closer. Hopefully not above this, this level, the $20,400 level. Um, but it's not the, it doesn't, if it does, it does not signal, does not signal a change in the, um, the, the trend. It will not signal a change in the trend just yet. It's going to have to break a little bit higher than that. It has to pass $22,800. That's what it has to pass in order to it to really take off. Okay, and with that said, we could see that Bitcoin is probably going to roll up here. Might not roll up right away. Might come down and test this level here. So do not try to go long just yet. There isn't a long here just yet. Um, I would not uh, try to do that just yet. But here, if you wanted to try your hand at a long, Let's just, we'd have to go down to a lower time frames and see what, uh, what the, the charts tell us because, um, yeah, it's too early for a long, if you, if, if you look, I'm just looking at this, the, the chart setup, this would like, look at this, M, 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 come on, you all have clearly, this thing is clearly breaking down even more, right? And yeah, so you could see that down at the 18.5, 18.6 area is where we're going to break down to before we see any kind of reversal. And unfortunately, we could end up just continue breaking down. Uh, hopefully that doesn't happen just yet. Uh, I want to set up a couple of shorts way up here around the 2,000-ish area, $20,000 area. I don't know why I keep saying 2,000, but it's $20,000 area. Uh, most likely around the 19.8 or something like that. But let's just wait for that reversal to happen. If it happens really, really, really fast, it's super fast, like one crazy candle wick straight up, you know, and uh, I'm right, this is going to ro roll over and we're going to die. So, um, yeah, easy short for you right then and there. Okay. All right. With that said, I'm going to end that right here. Um, because um, I don't have all the proper equipment to do quickly uh, to do this. And then, of course, this thing is a little bit delayed, the, uh, the connection. I need a better connection. Uh, make sure you hit the like, hit the subscribe button. Uh, I wanted to do a video today so badly. I was so, uh, because I haven't been doing a lot of videos and I wanted to get something out here for you guys. Thank you for watching, right? Bitcoin. Yeah, it's breaking down and it's going to be a disaster. 16000 is the first stop target, but $12,500 is, is the most likely scenario uh, when the Fed continues to add uh, to the interest rates. And uh, yeah, unless they, call, they cry uncle, uh, Bitcoin is headed down. All right. But don't worry. Bitcoin's real. Bitcoin's here to stay and you need to be a part of it.